Welcome to Love, Dream, Live, your source of life lessons that inspire you to love intensely, dream relentlessly, and live passionately. Our goal is to help you create harmony in your work, personal life, and self-discovery journey. Welcome your host, Aida, with today's topic. Hi, wonderful. Thanks for joining me today. Today's topic is about the difference between searching or seeking for truth or searching or seeking validation. Sometimes life feels really challenging and we feel inside of ourselves like we're seeking a certain truth, a certain sign. And in reality, we're actually just seeking validation. So let's talk about the difference between truth and validation. Because I think it's really important to know the difference and acknowledge the distinction between either one so that we don't actually fool ourselves into believing that we're seeking truth when in reality we're just seeking validation. When we seek for truth, we're seeking for truth out of our heart and it's something that the truth will enlighten us or unite us or bring us closer to something or somebody. It'll empower us and uplift us. So in a way, truth feels liberating. On the other hand, when we are looking for validation, validation is more about validating our mind, about proving that we are right, about how things might seem. And it's mostly about minimizing our fears and finding ways to twist the truth to make it fit whatever we want it to fit. And finding ways to twist the truth to have it prove that we are correct, that we were right, that our ego is satisfied. Generally speaking, when we are truly searching for truth, we are open-minded about it. It could be anything. Truth could be anything. Whenever it reveals itself to us, we are open-minded about it and embrace it, no matter what the truth is. We release judgment and we also don't have like a hidden agenda like whenever this truth happens then I'm going to do this and feel this. Like we just don't even know what those next steps are until the truth actually reveals itself to us. And we've also released all preconceptions of what the truth could be because we look deeper and we realize that the truth could be anywhere and it could come from anyone and it could be anything. And most of the times whenever we are seeking truth, it's because we want to trust ourselves, trust our decisions, trust the next step that we're going to take, trust people around us, the situation, different things like that, mainly because we have a need inside of ourselves to feel secure and feel like there's actually solid ground to step on. But we also need to realize that the truth could be either positive or negative and that's going to really be biased by our point of view by our experiences by our worldview and the way that life has shaped us so my definition of what is true your definition of what is true is going to be completely different on the same thing but the challenge here is to let everything through us let the situations through us the people through us whatever it is let it go through us And kind of be soft like a child, like a wanderer, like an adventurer that's kind of walking through this forest trying to find some kind of treasure and our treasure is going to be the truth. But we're not sure how long we're going to need to walk or what direction we're going to need to walk. And so that's a part of the thrill and the ride of trying to find truth in our lives and looking for signs of where to go or what to do next. I feel that most of the time when we search for truth, it would come from our heart, from our sort of internal self. Now let's talk about validation. Validation, I feel, comes from our mind, not from our heart. And usually whenever we're seeking validation, we are looking for something that will confirm a preconceived thought or emotion or belief. And I think the key word here is preconceived, like you've already got this thought or emotion or belief and you're wanting to prove it or find physical validation of what you already hold inside of yourself to be true. So whenever you're searching, you're actually only looking for whatever matches that specific preconception that you already have. So whenever you're scanning for truth, you're leaving things out. You're leaving important pieces out that could reveal the truth to you 
But because they do not match your preconceived thought, emotion, or belief, then you're kind of disqualifying them and dismissing them as not really truth because it doesn't match whatever specific thing that you're trying to get validated. It's so much easier to filter things and even look over the truth at the cost of validating whatever you seek to be validated. So I kind of see validation as a way to reinforce pre-existing thoughts and pre-existing fears. And I feel like validation actually comes from our ego, our insecurity and our fear and our kind of smaller, lesser self, because our ego is always eager to be right, to be proved correct. And anything that is not validating that is going to be dismissed as not true or as not really that important. And so our ego is very good at judging, at discriminating, at categorizing and labeling. And it fears so much to be wrong that the actual need to prove something to ourselves can lead to frustration and disappointment because we're searching for validation. We're seeking that validation and we're not really searching for truth. So I really encourage you to pay attention to yourself and your behavior, your thoughts, your beliefs, and your emotions, and acknowledge to yourself if what you are seeking every day and working towards every day, is it searching for truth? Are you seeking truth and enlightenment for truth and empowerment? Or are you really just trying to prove yourself right? Because this is a really huge difference and it can determine if the direction of our life is open and clear or kind of rocky and shaky. So I encourage you to ask yourself this question and be completely honest with yourself. Right now in your life, in your personal life, in your business life, are you seeking truth or are you seeking validation? Being aware of the difference and acknowledging it can really help you make a turnaround that's all for today thank you for joining me and i'll see you again next time thank you for joining us today don't forget to subscribe and share this episode with a friend visit lovedreamlive.com for more and remember to stop waiting decide to choose yourself you can experience unconditional love create the life of your dreams and live in harmony and abundance every single day see you again soon